Would you spend 30 hours in a coffin for $600? <laughs> well, Six Flags Fiesta in Texas is hosting the creepy competition as part of their annual Fright Fest. They sure know how to have a good time in Texas. <laughs> well, meals and bathroom breaks would be provided. You'd have to spend the rest of your time in a locked coffin. So would you do it? And if you would do it, is $600 enough? Or would you maybe ask to jack up the price a bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> I've done a lot worse for $600. So <laughs> uh, also, what, like, first of all, can we just shout out the company that came up with that idea? Because we are talking about this story globally. Yes. Everyone is asking, would you go in a coffin for 600 bucks for yeah. three hours? And what is it, if you divide by, like, I come from telling jokes in bars. Like, I'll do- It's $20 an hour. Yeah, $20 an hour. Like, yeah, I'll do that. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I want to jump in, because Danny on Facebook wrote in, as a stay-at-home mom, I would do it for free if it means getting 30 hours to <laughs> That's a good point. Can you imagine? That's a really good point. Let's do it. Danny, oh Danny my God. thank you. That's that amazing. That is the Facebook comment of the month. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. For you know, that. coffins are actually quite comfortable. Like they are. How did you do? I had, no, I haven't done exactly what? this. So I, I did do one of these fright things, and I did lay down in one, and I was surprised to discover. I'm, I'm kind of somebody who's a bit claustrophobic as well. Was but it closed? It was closed. <gasps> it was. I just kind of trust. I went into like this deep space, and then I remembered as I was thinking about this topic today that I actually, in my weird college days, around the same time I saw Jason for the first time in his weird outfit, I was doing weird things. I took this art class where I constructed this kind of like a, like almost like an incubator, but for an adult. I was doing this commentary on life, and I got oh people to put their arms. God. Inside and poke me. I laid in that thing in this container for about like four or five hours and got people to people touched me like a during piece it. of performance. Yeah. Art. And I didn't get paid anything for that. It was a piece of <laughs> nothing. So I would do this. I mean, I think maybe if I did it for a good cause, like six hundred dollars wouldn't be the motivating factor unless I was giving it away to something. For, yeah, you're looking at me like I've got. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. You have like six There's years. absolutely yeah. no way. Right? Like no, they'd have to chance. add ten zeros on that. <laughs> yeah. Right, you could, you could just. There's probably a bell or something. Do you think like you can get out? Panicking. <laughs> See, no, that's that my thing fear. Comes down. The thing comes down, and if I hear the, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'd be like, is there like an escape hatch here? Because I have seen horror movies that start and end this way. <laughs> this is not going to be a good outcome. The claustrophobia alone would drive me bonkers. Right. I can't even imagine it. Also, even with the 30-minute break. <laughs> <laughs> also, how you physically do? Are you supposed to eat and? Poop and all lying down. Like they say, they give you a break. So you, you get, get a bathroom break. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that is possible. Yeah, I don't Can know. You Pooping poop lying down. down. Yeah. That's a is question. Can you poop lying down? Yeah. 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 Anyone? Well, oh, let's find that. out for six hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you can answer this very important medical question. Okay. We're gonna move away. Maybe someone will write in and have the answer to that question. Anyway. Uh, just Someone's sending a video. Someone. <laughs>